It's been so long since I filmed, I pressed the off button instead of the record button. Let's get you in here. Mmm. Hi. We're a little closer than usual. So, this is a week in my work makeup. Never mind that today I already got back from work. <laughs> this is what I wanted to wear this morning. But I overslept. So I just left the house without doing makeup. But it's also, it was a repeat. It was intended to be a repeat of what I wore two Saturdays ago. Work has been working me, girl. <laughs> I've not been able to get myself together, like making a new schedule that fits around this and my new job. I think I have one though. This is the week I'm trying it out. I guess in the most extreme way possible because I'm doing a concept week all of a sudden, but it's not like a full concept. It's just like a concept that fits with what I'm doing, like a week in my work makeup. Let me. I've been wearing contacts a lot for work, and I think I'm actually going to keep doing that. At first, it was just because um, they were the contacts I had on hand, but I have regular contacts now, and I wear them for like regular life. And then I keep going to work and I keep putting in the same two contacts, so I think I'm going to make it a thing. I think I'm going to get colored contacts and just rotate them at work. Let's start with eyebrows. My eyebrow routine has gotten really, really simple. I think I finally found something that works. It's a little bit old and a little bit new. I'm spraying this, obviously, and we're using the Innisfree. And you just take some off in the cap, up in the cap. And then I just fill in the sparse area. Should I bring you in some more? Mm. So this is the natural state of my brow. I might comb it a little just so we can get a real idea of what we're working with. Blah 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 blah. I'm gonna tilt it to the light, but let me just try to get it so I do it in the camera frame. <laughs> and I just kind of fill in in between. I don't try to reshape it. I just kind of. Look at the sparse spaces of my eyebrow and fill there. And then in the front I turn it this way and just go up gently. Alright. One eyebrow. Done. Hold on, let's look at the edge a little bit. We try to take away the edge though. At least. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I should start tightening this on. Huh? Right? They're just very... What? What are they? <laughs> Look a little skeptical today. Right? Eyebrows. Done? <laughs> Whatever. So we're just doing work makeup. Sometimes my eyebrows <laughs> doing what they want at work. So I actually am emulating this picture because I thought it was so cute. It's from Hanifa. Hanifa doesn't sell makeup, they sell clothes. And it's a picture of a dress that I really, really wanted. But it was sold out. I'm in the magic. Yeah, I'm in the magic palette. The big one. I really liked how large these were, so I'm kind of sad she doesn't make them anymore. She only makes the minis. Anyway, I'm using Fossil, and we're just going to put it all over the eye. And yes, I wore this to work. And I think this is interesting, because you know, you wear a mask, and people can't see the full glory of your face. So why not give your eyes a bit more something? Alright. Boom. Oh. Take a bit under. Okay, but if this was me going to work instead of me showing you what I wanted to do for work, I, I usually I always use this at work because it's waterproof and it doesn't move. But 
since I am not going to work, <laughs> we're going to use this again. And we're going back in the industry. Boop. Dude, I always bring it closer for the eyes, don't I? Boom. Nothing is complete about mascara. This is the one that I have been just you know, using down for some reason, like every day. Even days where I don't do anything else, I put on this mascara. Okay. Ding. Back up. Spray the puff a little. I don't really put foundation on my whole face just because I'm wearing a mask and I don't want it to get too much on the mask. I just do it under the eye because boom. Alright, and here's the lip. It's actually a couple things. So I'm gonna put on this liner first. At the bottom and at the top. Today, I won't ignore my cupid's bow. Then, I'm going to put this on. This is still a... Pal Palermo. You know, my guy. Oops, my guy. I love Palermo. So we get something like that. And then we top it with Europa. Beep. To make it look more like the picture I showed you. Yeah, this was too much. Mm. This was too brown. Whatever. I wore a lip once, but I only wear matte, but day one, work makeup. Thank you. See you again. Bye. <laughs> Twenty minutes. Don't mind this shirt. This is the one. Look at that. Look at this. I only put it on because I was filming this. I think I'm like most people. And you sit in your room when you're getting ready. You're probably topless. Maybe a bra on or something. Yes? No? I guess it depends on numerous factors. I was laying down a little longer than I was supposed to. What I do is, it's a new routine I'm trying out that I think I finally found out works really well for me. I wake up, I work out, I take a shower, and then I lay back down. I mix Muse and Darling. Because Darling's bright, but Muse is nice. It's just a little um, pale. So I use Darling to give it some, if I don't want it to be so cool toned. I use Darling to kind of neutralize it. This is Cosmo. Cute. And now, 
Oh, my snooze button's gonna go off in 47 seconds. That means I need to be done in 47 seconds. Yeah, wonky eyeliner. It's alright. Done. I don't wear anything on my look most times. Except for some Carmex, which is in my bag. Hmm. But if I do with something like this, like something matte, I just don't feel like putting it on today, so, done. Bye. Okay. <laughs> it's Wednesday. And I'm watching Belle Michelle. I like her little fashion channel, even though like 104% of the things she gets are London based. I looked up a couple of things, like the Karen Millen things, and I realized, I was telling my sister this, I realized that even though I like the way she dresses, like she dresses really nice, in general, the shops that she shops at, you have to really look around because there's, there's a style culture that is different between America and England and I feel like the only reason why she's a little different from a typical UK style is because she's also African and so that's where we're meeting in the middle <laughs> and I think she's West African so I'm West Central like Cameroon is considered West Central it's always considered central but we're technically west it's really weird I don't know when she has like a UK flair to it and then I have a I think an American sensibility just you know because environment wise and then the sizing is different I think the UK their size it's like four sizes different so for instance if it's a UK 12 it'll actually be a US 8 if I need a US 16 I'll have to make sure the site has like UK 20 you know a lot of places don't do that so I'm not eco tools so today's palette is from in this is the dry apple blossom just because my shirt has a coral some coral flowers on it so I thought I'd do this orangey kind of thing here. Hello. Hello. Before, after. It's an orangey. I don't know why they call it the apple blossom. Though. Apple blossom is really this color, but we get it. You know, we understand. It's called a concept. this color and put it only on the eyelid. Like close to the eyeline, do you know what I mean? It's actually a really good brown that I like to wear by itself. It's also a really good brown for under the eye because it's lighter. So under the eye it has a little bit of a brightening effect when I put it here. I was going to go sparkle this. Yeah. Like that. Look at the difference. <laughs> Thanks, Ron and... Yeah, as usual, I'm using. Today, 
Lay's eye line. Short. And a little down. See that? We're following the natural slope today. Now you see? Today's eyeline went this way. We're actually gonna soft brown. Today's all about the eyes. And same old, same old mascara. Like I said, no foundation today. Just eye makeup. And some lotion. <laughs> Chamomile for three beauty. Yeah. It's the end of the week. So I thought I was filming yesterday, and apparently I wasn't because I took the memory card out to put in my computer to make the video you guys saw already. The, blue, the first blue period. If you didn't know, it's just. A period where I'm feeling a certain way and I just make the blue, blue period videos in like a abstract but conceptual theme or I guess an interpreted interpretive version of the theme so the very first was Kronos which was like time time slippy so the videos are a little out of time order that was my first time experimenting with it the second one ended up being cubism. I was trying to express the flat dimension, the 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 one plane perspective. <laughs> I tried to express like the one plane perspective and the compartmentalization of cubism through those videos. I don't know if it came off that way. But even if it doesn't land all the way, I just, I have a good time doing them. Not just how the video is edited, but the colors on my face, how I do the makeup is also representative of um, each, like, concept or whatever. So, like, the first one, I was doing the makeup and within a certain time. You guys wouldn't know that, but I did it within a certain time. Or I did it from a specific time. It was all centered around time. The second set was what I said, like, the whole flat dimension, so I tried to use, like, one palette, one color, you know, and it was handy because at the time the Juvia's Place minis have just started rolling out, so I was using one palette, one to do everything on my face. It was an interpretation of the whole one plain perspective thing using the one palette. And now we have cloisonism, so you'll see the cloison at the end, and that's going to be interesting. So that's what you're seeing now, but what you're seeing right now is the last of a week in my work makeup and I know it hasn't been a full week but one of the days I went to work I was crying all night the night before so I didn't do any makeup I just put in my contacts and went to work and then yesterday as I just told you all of that to say I came here Saturday yes I am going to work I took it as an opportunity to at least finish the week properly yesterday I used um, dry buckwheat flour today I'm gonna use the chocolates gonna be very simple. I'm just going in my two favorite colors here. Alright. I'm debating if I'll use the sparkle in here or the shimmer. I'm gonna use a little bit of the one at the bottom. 
you know, because it's such a solid shimmer, so you gotta just be ready. I just put it right up the middle. You have to be very genteel to get that done, kind of, so you just like literally touch it. <laughs> touch your sweep your eye. Doing my makeup feels good. What time is it? 7.33. I'm going to zoom my eyebrows. Alright, we're going to actually use the chocolates palette to do my eyebrows. And we're going to go here. Dry. So it's not too concentrated. I'm just knocking it into the plastic. That's another reason I keep the plastic. Some days when I feel in my brows, it turns out better than others. Like today, not a day I like. <laughs> Whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe it's too late. Let me bring you in. Let's get this eyeliner on here. All the way in today. Bum, bum, ba bum. Eyes finished. And then I'm gonna finish with this. Not on my face. If you haven't read Mira Bomb's article all about antiperspirant, go read it. It's called Two Pits Bad. <laughs> it's an Animal Farm reference, okay? Ready, go!